There was a woman waiting for a job interview. This video happens out of South Africa. Now we know we talked about the unemployment rate being at 27%. So a job is a beautiful thing for someone over there. Now, as she's sitting there on a park bench, she started rolling her camera cause she's being harassed by two police officers in the process. And I want to watch this video, but we're going to talk about the politics of what you saw in this video. Let's roll the clip. This is doing our job. Uh -uh. Where's your interview lady? What do you mean, where's my interview? What Hold do you on. mean? Hold on. You don't grab Hold things me. from mine. This is mine. I have Hold a right on. to grab it. Hold I have on. a right to grab it because it's mine. Hold you cannot on. do that. Relax. You can't. You are performing downstairs? I am performing because downstairs? what you guys are doing, it's not right. Do not perform. It's not right. It's fine. You can search my bag. Search it. Okay. Speak English because I can't understand Afrikaans. Now, I was written a extensive DM about this particular incident that happened actually in Sea Point, but it's in the Cape Town area of South Africa. Now, the one sister from South Africa, and I tried to invite her to come on, but she said she was a little shy, but I'll kind of, you know, piggyback off of what she was saying about the politics of what's going on over there. So the particular cops that you saw in America, they would be called biracial, but over there they call colored, and they have their own category there. So you got, you know, like you got the white folks, you got the coloreds, which would be people like them, um, and then you have black people, which you know people like myself. So she was stating that a lot of them, especially in some of these areas, especially the main area she's talking about, C Point, which is a white. Bay Area. Now, I'm going to stop right there. What in the hell you mean you got a white area in South Africa? Last time I checked, the continent of Africa is a black uh, continent. Last time I checked, my thing is, and many of us have stated this before, we watch these videos. Y'all are 90% of the population, brothers and sisters. I don't know why y'all allow them to get away with any of that. I don't know why, because you think that if we, talking about black Americans and our attitude, was over there and 90% of the population, that'd be going on? Mm-mm. Not at all. But the sister was explaining that the quote unquote coloreds, as we were in this country called biracials, a lot of them believe they're white. And you know, you have some black people here that are saying that basically they need their own class just like um, they are over there. But as you see over there, they're used to also oppress black people. And in the past, if you know your history, the slave masters would use the quote unquote mulattoes that would be extremely confused, a lot of them. And they be in a position a lot of times where they feel that, well, I'm not black enough and I can't be white enough. Well, the issue is not being black. The issue is I, I can't fit in with white with a lot of them. That's called what it is. White folks is not going to accept them. We're talking about the politics of here. Now over there, you know, notice they were speaking Afrikaans. Afrikaans is not something that black folks speak. It's, it's not. That's stuff that the Boers speak. And obviously they was, you know, around them enough to learn Afrikaans. That's why she told her to speak English. I don't speak Afrikaans. And she was just harassing her and something no different than they were used to do in apartheid South Africa. This particular area, Sea Point, they stated that if any black person come toward that area, the police immediately jumping on them and harass them. But then they got little communities, as I'm reading with the sisters writing, uh, in Cape Flats, which is 10 miles away from Sea Point, that they got their own Pookie and Ray, the colors have their own Pookie and Ray Rays going on. And they don't go try to stop Pookie and Ray Ray over there. So it's also close to the story that we covered last year in the Clifton Beach. We had the uh, white folks didn't want the black people on the beach at all. And so everybody came out, like the EFF, the BLF, and all those different groups came out and say, hell no, nah, we're coming out here to this beach. Now, my thing is this, I'm going to say this once again. I don't know why this is being allowed, brothers and sisters in South Africa. Y'all, I know y'all got many parties, but y'all really need to come together as one party and say, look, we got different ideas, but one thing is for sure, we not gonna be oppressed in our own land. Forget that. It's better to come together in unity than be apart. I understand we all have different ideas on how you wanna progress the country, but if you come together on just one accord, just for that time period, just until you get free, once you get free, then you can break up into your different parties if you want and have your different ideas. Wonderful. 
but we are stronger together instead of apart because whether you are EFF, BLF, or whatever group you want to be in, if you go to that area because you're black, they're going to harass you. Now in the United States of America, we get it. We know what happens to us here. We're not 90% of the population, but I promise you that would be happening. If we were 90% of the population in this country. It would be no harassment because even our police don't even get down like that. I'm talking about the black cops, the ones they are for the straight and narrow, not the ones who are shucking and jiving sellouts. They ain't talking about them. Do you think if brothers from 90% of the population, 90% of the police, that would be going down? No, it wouldn't be going down, but they allow this to go on. And this is something that you brothers and sisters need to challenge over there. You say, wait a minute, this South Africa, this our land, it's time for you to take your country back. And for the president to even allow this to go on, this says a lot too. Y'all need to be pressing the president and say, okay, uh, Ramaphosa, you won again. Okay. Well, it is what it is. We need you to put a stop to this. This is wrong and you must do it and press him. Don't let off of the president, press him about that. They shouldn't be harassing you about going to a quote unquote white, we're talking about a white area. You know, those boars are from originally from the Netherlands and you know, the Netherlands don't even want them back. You know that they, they don't want them at all. They complain about black folks, but they don't want them to come back at all. From what I have gathered from speaking to a lot of people from the Netherlands, they look down on them. They say, we don't want them. They, a lot of them are racist. They, they, they don't fit our values. No, we don't want them back. So that's how they feel about them. They don't want them. You know, at one point in time, no, Putin was saying some of them can go over there to Russia if they want to, but they didn't want to take up Putin's offer. So they still want to stay there and think it's still apartheid. Y'all have to end that. Y'all can't allow these people to keep treating y'all this way. Same thing with those police. Can't let them police do that. Like, no, I say, they say it's South Africa. I say there's way more of us than you and we're not going to put up with it. You know, just unify. Like I say, you definitely share us the videos here. You know, we definitely supporting, you know, all the, the nations within the continent, definitely every nation throughout the diaspora as well. And this is a place for you to, you know, share those videos or you give me the politics of it, especially since I'm not there. Like just one sister gave me the politics of it behind the scenes. And, you know, we definitely want to make sure to put out the right reports, but you know, to these so-called colored people, I mean, you think you white or something? I mean, I don't know. Cause at the end of the day, you're never going to be white. They would never call you that. If that's the case, they would have called you white. Now from what, you know, some of the makeup of these people that think that guess they white, they say someone could be half Asian and black. Some of them will have, they say Zulu uh, and British. It's just different ones that that's kind of combinations, but they just don't, you know, say oh, I'm not black like them. I'm in my own group. And once again, I'm gonna say to a lot, that little small section of the black community, they actually want that. If you know your history, you know why that is dangerous more so than anything And South Africa is really the proof of that. But leave me a comment. Let me know what think about the situation that's happening out there in Sea Point area of South Africa. But this is the thing. They should never have no conclaves for them to be by themselves and treat you any kind of way in South Africa. I know you was talking about also the uh, racist DA or democratic Alliance where you have a lot of them, you know, in like I said, I don't understand why y'all even allow them to be in anything in South Africa, especially you guys being 90% of the population, but continue to pass me the videos and, and let's talk about South Africa because you guys need to take your country back once and for all.